Hello, peace be with you. It's good to be with you wherever you're watching this today. I want to spend a few minutes now talking with you about being thankful for our differences. Just pause for a moment and think about your class or look around your classroom where you are now. Think about the different people in your class. Actually, you're all different and that's a good thing because if everyone was the same, then life would be a bit boring, actually, wouldn't it? So it's good to be thankful for our differences. And to help us think a bit more about that now, I want to show you some different pairs of shoes. In our house, there are six of us. Uh, and so in our family, we've got quite a few different pairs of shoes. And I'm going to show you some of them now. So first of all, we come to some big green wellies and then next to those some much smaller bright red wellies and then we've got uh, some blue trainers for wearing outside and some pink stripy warm cozy slippers for wearing inside we've got some walking boots uh, which are a bit muddy been put to good use recently in this weather and then also some yellow summery shoes for the youngest member of the family. And we've got some warm furry boots for keeping warm in winter, next to some summery flip-flops for when it's hot. And then we've got some smart adult shoes for work, next to some smart child shoes for school. So lots of different shoes, different shapes, sizes and colours, all with different purposes all very important for our family and of course they all have a different role to play you wouldn't wear uh, your smart shoes to go to the beach and equally you wouldn't wear your summery flip-flops on a long muddy walk and also you wouldn't normally wear your wellies to go to school unless it is you're doing something like forest school or some sort of outdoor activity all these shoes are important, they all have a role to play and we're thankful to have all of them. Now there's a passage in the Bible uh, that talks about this idea of us all being different but yet all belonging and all having an important part to play. It's written by the Apostle Paul in his first letter to the church in a place called Corinth. And in that place at that time, there were lots of different people from lots of different places, lots of different backgrounds, lots of different cultures. And they weren't always that good at working well together or listening to each other or learning from each other. And so Paul wrote to them using the example of the human body, uh, in which all the different parts are different, but yet they all belong and all have a role to play. And he used that as an example to talk to them about how they should live well together. As I read this, you might want to think about the parts of the body that are mentioned and you might want to point to them as we go through this. It goes like this. Just as the human body is one and has many parts, they are different, but all are parts of the same body. And so it is with us. For in God, we are all one body, no matter who we are or what we look like. A body doesn't just have one part, but many. If the foot, somewhere down there, said, because I'm not a hand, then I don't belong to the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. And if the ear said, well, because I'm not an eye, I don't belong to the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. And if the whole body were an eye, then where would the hearing be? And if the whole body were an ear, then where would the sense of smell be? In fact, if all were a single part, where would the body be? So there are many parts, yet one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you, 
and nor can the head say to the feet somewhere down there, I don't need you. Because God has arranged the body so that there may be no arguments, but all the parts care for one another. And if one part suffers, all suffer together with it. And if one member is praised, all are happy together. God has given each of us all different kinds of gifts. So use your gifts to help each other so that you grow closer together. So that's a version of what Paul says in his letter to the Corinthians. We find it in the New Testament, in the Bible. And so, just like all those pairs of shoes that I showed you, each one different, but each one belonging in our household and each one having a particular purpose. And also just like the human body, your body and my body, each part of our body plays an important role. They're all different, but they all belong together and together they work together. Each one is important. And so too, the same is true in your school and in your class. Each person is different. They have different gifts and strengths and things that they bring. But they belong, you all belong together and everyone is valued. And now for me as a Christian, it's important to know that each one of us is valued and loved by God. That no matter where we're from or what we look like, no matter what we're good at or not so good at, we all matter, we're all important, we're all valued and loved by God. And so we can be thankful to God for our differences. The fact that we're not all the same, God has made each one of us uniquely and wonderfully. Each one with different gifts and abilities to use and to grow in. So today, perhaps something for you to think about as you go through the rest of this day. Think about the other children in your class or at school with you today. Think about uh, perhaps what they're good at, the strengths that you see in them. They'll be different to the strengths that you have. But actually, what could you say to them to encourage them, to say thank you to them for what they do? So as we reflect on that for a moment, I'm going to say a prayer to finish with. And as ever... If you agree with me at the end, then please do join in with saying Amen. Father God, thank you that you've made each one of us different, with different gifts and strengths and abilities. And thank you that you place us together in our schools, our homes, our families. Please help us to love and value and respect each and every one, just as you love and value and respect us. And help us to be thankful for our differences today. Amen. Well, thank you for listening and for reflecting and thinking on that theme today. Hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.